So for this problem, we're ident we're actually investigating what happens if we have an a value which is less than one but greater than zero. In this case, we're going to have one half x squared and one quarter x squared. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go and take a look at the chart that we have here. And then what I want you to do is I want you to create a chart identical to mine. And then we'll go and do the graphing. So you'll notice that I went up by twos along the y-axis, but then I went along the x-axis. Every two blocks, I put the number, I put one, two, and three. So now let's go and compute y equals x squared and y equals one half x squared. Let's see what happens. All right, so for our basic graph, we plot our points. So let's do that right now on our graph. And now this is your base image for y is equal to x squared. So now let's go and use Desmos to graph the, to figure out the points for one half x squared. To get one half x squared, what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to type in to the right of x squared. In the next column, we're going to write 1 and then use the slash 2. So the slash is usually underneath the, um, the question mark sign on your keyboard. You can also use it from the Desmos settings. You should be able to get that as well. And you go 1 half, and we're going to type in x squared. And here are the points that we get. Uh, squared. One half x squared. So we get four and a half to these points here. Copy them into your chart. So these are the points that we've got. And if you just look at the y values that are that have been changed from x squared to one half x squared, we literally chopped the heights by 2, or we just multiplied by 0.5. So 9 goes to 4.5, 4 goes to 2, and then 1 goes to 0 0.5. 0 stays as 0, and so on. Now graph those points. And when you graph your new parabola, you're going to get something like this. So essentially what's happened is when we multiply, so when we have one half sitting in front of x squared, essentially the heights get cut down by a half. Let's do the same thing for a quarter x squared. You should have something similar. So now let's punch in a quarter for our x squared term. So one over 4, move to the right, x squared, and what we should have are all the points, 2.25, 2.25, 1, 0 0.25, 1, and 2.25. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to write down our equations so that we see what they look like here. So this is our this is our half one, and then this one here is going to be our x squared one, one half x one quarter x squared. And you'll notice as we go along, each one of these graphs get its heights cut in half. So originally the graph started at four here. Then it went to 2 and then to 1. So when you go and draw up your, your picture, your picture should look similar to something like this. Now, as you can see, what we have done is we have drawn the third graph, and you'll notice that the graph gets squashed. In essence, what we call that is compressed. So anytime Anytime our y values get shrunk, we say that it is compressed. Some people would call it a fatter graph. In mathematics, we say that 
one half x squared is compressed by a factor of whatever our a value is. So in this case, our a value would be one half. So it literally compresses it by a factor of a half. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to work on this last bit here. And what we're going to do is we're going to stop here for the day, and then you're going to do about nine questions describing what these graphs will look like. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to use Desmos to create the basic graphs, but I need you to be able to predict what's going to happen. That's what we're going to do at the end of the lesson. So now, start on this part. The next video will be on this.